Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, Jamie Hess, welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. I want my audience to know I get to talk to Jamie Hess. She's a fitness and wellness expert. Today she's here to talk about navigating pregnancy and postpartum in the COVID-19 area. This is new ground, guys. So I know if you're at home listening and or you're thinking of having a baby or having a baby, please listen up. Jamie, uh, some of the moms are kind of worried, according to my Facebook post. Uh, they've never been here. You know, they may have had kids, but they've never been pregnant when there was a worldwide pandemic. Give me some uh, uh, tips that can help them feel better about this after you and I finish having this conversation. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is unprecedented, right? So pregnancy can be stressful enough. I I know. I have two I little ones. I know, too. I oh, have man. four, so yes. I know. You know. And it's a joyous time, but it's also very stressful. Women today that are pregnant are having a host of new issues and concerns, right? Like things like, is my partner going to be banned from the delivery room? Or, you know, am I going to contract the virus during a doctor's visit? Or even just, is my local retailer going to have a shortage of baby formula? So really a whole new world of new concerns that we've never had to deal with before. That's right. So these added stress and COVID-19 has placed unexpected moms. Are doctors helping them deal with them? Well, so experts are recommending aggressive social distancing, right? So that means taking your normal social distance and kind of amping it up a little bit and being extra careful. But you know, because you've had kids, that's very difficult to do when you are pregnant because there's about a million doctor's appointments. Many providers are actually only seeing their patients for those critical screenings and tests, and they're cutting out some of the additional appointments which is a little bit scary. It really makes it that much more important that as a pregnant mother, you are taking your health into your own hands at home. That's my next question. Okay, one of the things that's essential for us is vitamins during pregnancy. Are we just doing a televisit to get advice? What are we doing there? Yeah, so let's just talk about the few simple things you can do at home to kind of give yourself the best head start for a healthy pregnancy. And first and foremost, prenatal vitamins. We've all heard it from our doctors about how important they are. It's actually, there's something called choline that is extremely critical in baby's development, okay, especially for brain health. And unfortunately, less than 10% of U.S. pregnant women are meeting their recommended daily intake of choline. So lucky for us, One A Day Vitamins, of course, the number one OBGYN recommended brand, has come out with the One A Day Prenatal Advanced Complete Multivitamin with Brain Support. This is going to contain three brain essential nutrients, all right? So that's choline, folic acid, and DHA. It actually has twice the amount of choline as other uh, leading vitamins in this category. So that's a big deal. Next up, you know, second only to taking your daily vitamins, I would recommend, again, sometimes the simplest is the best, a healthy diet. Okay, we hear it all the time, but I think a lot of pregnant women feel pregnancy is the time to kind of kick back and enjoy the junk food, right? Comfort eating. It's not. This is really the time to feed your body with the best possible food. And that means fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. If you are scared of going to the market to get that fresh produce, look into a delivery service. There's a lot of fresh produce delivery services that have cropped up now in the face of the pandemic. But make sure that you're intaking those fruits that, have, that are high in vitamin C and then also your dark leafy greens that are high in iron and calcium. Okay, those are doable things. How do you know when you... Do you need direction from your doctor? Because usually when you're pregnant, they don't want you to do anything without their approval. Well, that is true. But some of the basics that we know are just good for everybody. Like taking a prenatal over-the-counter vitamin is just best practice for maintaining a healthy pregnancy, as is having a healthy diet. You're going to also want to maintain the same kind of standards of uh, you know, health and hygiene that you would normally maintain for pregnancy. So washing those fruits and veggies per se, you would want to do that anyway when you're pregnant. And finally, can we just talk about fitness for a second? Because, you know, there used to be an idea that women that are pregnant shouldn't break a sweat. And that's obviously been 
disproven, tossed out the window. It really is important for women to maintain physical fitness when they are pregnant. Of course, under the care of a doctor, if you're going to talk to your doctor about it first, um, whether in person or through telemedicine, make sure that he gives you the go ahead. There are some conditions that would prohibit this. However, most women who are pregnant should get about 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity exercise. So think 30 minutes a day, five times a week. So you're brisk walking, things of that nature. So make sure you are getting that in, you're getting outside, getting that fresh air and maintaining your cardiovascular health while maintaining that safe social distance. Okay, and my audience, thank you guys for weighing in on social media, love it, love it. I'm gonna take this question off Instagram. They want to know, uh, give them the, the, this is what the post says, give me the skinny on high heels and being pregnant. Oh, gosh. I mean, look, there's a lot of different schools of thought there. Personally, I was not able to shove my foot into any sort of a high heel when I was pregnant. <laughs> we just swell, right? I think, you know, during the times of COVID, so many of us are at home. Give yourself a break. Stay in your walking shoes. Make sure that they're properly supported. I always say really make sure, even when you're working out at home right now, make sure that you're using the proper footwear for the proper exercise. So if you are doing a prenatal fitness routine, if you've looked one up on an app or online, make sure that you are following recommendations. Don't work out in your jammies with no support. Make sure you put down a yoga mat, you're wearing the proper footwear. And luckily, a lot of us don't have to wear high heels right now because there's not a lot of places to go. Um, I love that. I love that. I love that. Jamie, can we find out more information about your tips and your lifestyle and fitness information online? Absolutely. If you follow me at NYC Fit Fam on Instagram, I give tips and tricks like this every day, or go to oneaday.com for more information on those vitamins. Jamie Hess, fitness and wellness lifestyle expert. Thank you for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. Mm -hmm.